Hi there, and hello to everyone from the PreCert UK forum. It's been a privilege to find, finally find a great place to chat about PreCert videos, VHS, Betamax, laser discs, DVDs, the whole lot. Um, so I thought I put a, po a thread up a little while back about my laser disc collection. So I've got about 10 minutes left on this on this memory card. So I'm going to run you th quickly through my collection. I can't open up gate folds and show you the discs and all that sort of shit. So that's at this point. But let's just run you through quickly of what I have. And I won't even say anything because you can see what they are. Although I might say something about some of them. So yeah, the special edition there, and of course these are the posters that were released in 97 for that. Which I'm sure will be expensive to buy on eBay these days, perhaps. Now, quickly run you through these. I might move these back a bit, take them off. Okay, Under Siege. Die Hard 1 and 2, the exclusive letterbox director's edition of Pulp, uh, Pulp Fiction, From Dusk Till Dawn, the great vampire movie. Now, French Connection 1 and 2, one of my favourite films, set of films from the 70s. I am a child of the 70s, of the early 70s, and uh, just love those movies. Okay, the uh, only release ever on Laserdisc of the Terminator, number one that is. The print is not as good of course as the Blu-rays and the DVD, but it has certain things about it that I like in terms of just the way it looks on the screen. Happy Gilmore! Here is what they call in America Dutch, but is in actual fact, if we go over to my CBS Fox, video collection if I can find the prick driving me crazy that's what it's called in Australia and why the Americans insist on changing names just I have no idea maybe they maybe their names the original we're the ones that have changed it I've got no idea Ghostbusters the Criterion Collection but this is not the ultimate Criterion Collection of it because the better version of this is actually a gatefold which Zoran Zaruk on YouTube does have. Men at Work Charlie Sheen back in his younger days with his cousin I believe K9 James Belushi when he was a bit thinner here's one I've scored recently Backdraft this is a gatefold, is it? No. Now, one from the, one of the last, uh, latest laser disc releases that I've actually got. Most of mine are early '90s and '80s and stuff. Is the relic, Ghost in the Darkness from '96. Charlie Sheen again in the very average, uh, the Chase, which I found in Boise, Idaho, when I was over there in America which I'm going back to again in early next year. The Hidden, what a great sci-fi classic this is. Copland, when the hell was that done? 1990, oh, shit, where are you? Wish it would tell me. Anyway, I'd say 99, 98 perhaps. Okay, Belushi again. Taking Care of Business, which I also have on VHS. Encino Man, I am a humongous, humongous Sean Astin fan. Loved him in the Goonies and been watching him ever since. The only, uh, one of two British PAL tapes, uh, disc tapes, discs that I have, only the lonely. The only problem with with PAL, uh, PAL discs is that they, you, at least on my Pioneer CLD 2950, you can't, and all the other machines, you can't rewind or fast forward the prick. Johnny Mnemonic. Robotech, Robotech, Robotech. 
Crimson Tide. Tank Girl. Independence Day. And inside of that there is Lethal Weapon 3. Air Force One. The most shiniest laser disc cover I've ever seen. This is from 1990... Shit, they, why the hell don't they tell us what it is? Damn it. I think it's from 98. 99, a signature collection of Liar Liar. And one I had to have on Laserdisc and took me two attempts to get the first time the bastard never showed up. Off eBay, Forrest Gump. Now, Forrest Gump was meant to be seen on Laserdisc in my opinion. The VHS tape just don't cut it, I'm sorry. Last Action Hero. God damn, these discs are big. They're fantastic, I love them. Just absolutely adore them. Best home video format ever released, in my opinion. Star Trek. The Rookie with Clint and Charlie. Chaz. Hard Target. The Goonies, the Power Tape. Power Discs. Well, I'm so used to saying Power Tape. I can't stop saying it. The only thing about this one, and this is the original release, is that this looks worse, or maybe about the same, as my PAL VHS tape. Bastard's moved across, hasn't he? Little shit burger. Okay. Marooned. Gene Hackman. Clear and Present Danger. The Goonies again. Beauty and the Beast. An old uh, laser active, uh, sorry, laser vision uh, disc of Rambo Part 3, which I've also got on VHS. The Fantastic Disorganised Crime, which was released by Touchstone in Australia, and here it is right here, if I can take it out with, without knocking steak out off the freaking shelf. Oh! There you go, guys. Oh, gee, they're packed in there tight, man. Jeepers. Okay, back to the laser discs. Demolition Man. From Russia with Love. Breakdown. Judgment Night. Puppet Masters, which is quite similar to The Hidden, I think. The long version of Ace Ventura. Pet Dick, <laughs> Assassins, Apollo 13, it is not the signature collection unfortunately, Wayne's World 2, and I've got to get Wayne's World 1, it's on eBay right now but I'm still waiting to make my choice whether I'm going to buy it or not, Haunting of Seacliff Inn, Last Man Standing, The Wizard, The Chamber, Cool Runnings, Little Giants, Laser Vision of Blue Thunder with my favourite actor Roy Scheider. God bless you, Roy. Jungle to Jungle, Phenomenon, Twister, Paint Your Wagon, Star Trek. Okay, is that Star Trek? Yep. Blink, Top Gun, Flash Dance, and Unlawful Entry. Now that's those on the shelf. Just mind me for a second while I just try and get these pricks back in the shelf without getting them nice and organised. I'm trying to keep them dead straight, guys, but it's getting bloody hard. These things are heavy, man. I'm just going to put the camera down for a second before I show you the ultimate. You probably can see it now. The ultimate laser disc in this shed, also known as as the retro room. Jaws! Signature collection box set, baby! I paid 60 bucks for this thing. It was brand new. Goes for about 300 bucks sometimes. I've wanted this for ever since I knew it was on Laserdisc and I, even before I even got Laserdisc, I wanted it. There's about six discs in there and the book and the CD. And this is it's the CAV version. 
which is the best picture quality of Laserdisc, which is about 425 to 450 lines. Whoops, that wasn't very nice. Bad Matty. THX, blah, 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 blah. Now, I don't know why in America, MCA Universal, it's MCA Universal, where it's in Australia, it's never, ever been called M MCA Universal. Never. It's been Universal and Universal only. Or if it was on video, if it was video releasing, it was CIC video that released uni Universals. Whoops. There's a few things here, mate, guys, that are a little bit touchy. If you knock them, the whole lot goes down like dominoes. Here's my Jaws tape collection. I'm just going to get over here. I better put the light on. And I've got to be quick because I'm running out of time on my mem on this uh, memory stick. Right, coma. Titanic. Ghost. Roadhouse. Stargate. It's long, the long version. The Abyss. Director's pen and scan edition of the of the new version. Earthquake. In uh, in all its greatness, with that uh, sense around, which makes the. Uh, my uh, speakers and the whole shed shake when I turn it on. Poseidon Adventure, Towering Inferno, True Lies, which you've got to have on Laserdisc, and the DTS release of Con Air, which is very prized in my opinion, and the ultimate ever release of the Howling uh, 185 ratio with the hot tub scene. And finally, taking off Pelham 1, 2, 3. That's it, guys. See you, see you later.